Assalamu alaikum. This short presentation is about the Aberdeen knot, which is a good way of finishing up your continuous suture uh, line. Uh, we'll go through um, why uh, this uh, Aberdeen knot is useful and how it can be formed. The problem of forming the final knot for a continuous suture pattern is that you'll be left up with one single strand of uh, sutures to uh, form the knot. And traditionally, the easiest way of, of sorting this is to loop a part of uh, the single strand uh, to form uh, a loop here on one side and use the other free end to form uh, your, uh, your knot. But that's going to leave you with a fairly unbalanced and unequal knot, uh, as, as you can see here. And, and its uh, security is a little bit questioned. Um, the other way, if you are using double loops on each, uh, a loop on each side, will form a very bulky uh, uh, knot, which is not good either. So the Aberdeen knot was proposed as an elaborate way of providing a secure knot formed up of several loops, uh, interlocking loops of a single thread. Uh, so it's fairly balanced, these, um, uh, so these consecutive loops, they are formed up of a single strand at a time, and they are interlocked in such a way as to provide enough uh, security. And this is how the Aberdeen knot is formed. Uh, I'm using thick wire, that's why it's a little bit fiddly, but basically what's happening is that you form a loop out of the single strand, through which you pull on the strand to form another loop and then go through that new loop to get another pinch on another bit of the strand to form a new loop and go on like this forming a loop after, the, after another maybe four or five times and finally you pass the needle, the final end of the thread and the needle through the final loop and pull on that and here you are, you've got the Aberdeen knot which is uh, safe and secure. And the steps are uh, straightforward. Once you finish the final uh, stitch in the continuous line, you try and make a suture inside in the subcutaneous tissue. This is going to fix the uh, entire suture line. So you take a bite in the subcutaneous tissue, retrieve the needle, and leave a loop of the thread on one side, and you have the free end of the thread with the needle on the other side. So you've got a loop between the two of your fingers, and you have the free end with the suture with the uh, needle attached on the other end. And through this loop, you try and pinch a little bit of the suture to form another new loop like. So you just go through that loop, pinch a little bit of the suture, another loop is formed, and you pull so that you start forming the knot, then go on pulling once more. You got a new loop and you add a little bit more to the knot. Continue pinching a little bit of the strand between two fingers and pulling through to add to the knot. And once you are happy with the security of your knot, you pull the needle through the final loop, the last loop here that you have formed, and pull on the thread, and here you are, you've got a secure uh, knot tied uh, in the depth of the tissues and the subcutaneous uh, area. What you want to do next is to bury the uh, knot in the subcutaneous tissue and retrieve the sutural line to the surface, and to do this, you just pass your needle under the knot in the subcutaneous plane 
bring it up to the surface beyond the apex of the wound anywhere and pull on the suture and this will bury the knot and you just cut the suture flush with the surface and here you are you've got a knot that is buried in the subcutaneous tissue and it is fairly secure so this is just about why the Aberdeen knot uh, is useful and how to form it. Um, Salam alaikum.